Yo what's up guys it's Atrix here today in this video we'll be taking a look at an brand new all in one emulator for android which can emulate consoles like 3ds nintendo switch as well as psp ps2 ps1 and much more but before starting if you guys are new here please be sure to subscribe because we want to hit 60k subscribers as soon as possible with that being said let's get started the app which we'll be using for today's video is available on play store and it is known as ps ps2 slash ps3 it has 4.5 star rating and if we open the about section of this app you'll be able to see that this is a forked version of many other emulators you can see that it has lot of features like personalizing the placement of screens high quality game graphics increase emulation speed with fast forward and much more and here you will be able to see that this project is based on liberto and it is open source it uses course of pcx2 dreamcast flycast psp core from ppss pp saturn core and much more lemuroid dolphin citra flycast meme for droid and even use emulator android has been used in this emulator so let's just go ahead and try it out. I think it reminds me of Lemuroid but there are some different controls for PS1, PS2 games. So that's pretty cool I guess. Let's just go ahead and open it and see how well does it actually work. So reward 30 coins today. Okay. So this app may be ad based. So I recommend you guys to turn off your internet connection if you want to try it out. And I'll choose the folder where I have stored my Switch games and immediately you will be able to see that. Uh, Sonic Mania, Pokemon Brilliant Diamond, Let's Go Pikachu, Mortal Kombat 1 etc. The games which I have stored on my Android device are recognized instantly. Now if we just go to settings then you will be able to see that we can reset course, we can rescan directory now. Uh, if you remember this layout then it's from Lemuroid emulator, we have HD mode as well. Emulation screen orientation can be landscape. We can switch to night theme as well but we'll disable this option. We have an option to even configure 3ds settings and from uh, the settings layout I can tell you guys that it is using Citra CoS as it mentions on its Play Store page so that's pretty cool. Now the reason why this is an all-in-one emulator is because if you use this emulator you don't need to install tons of emulators and set them up separately you can just set this one emulator up according to your preferences and that's about it we even have coin mode we even get to minimize advertising this unfortunately has lot of ads even though it is using uh, many open source emulators but there is always some takeaway we can also configure gamecube slash v settings let's just go ahead and try sonic mania and see if it uses yuzu emulator yep it uses yuzu emulator android and i do believe that we'll need to no we don't need to set it up i think if you have already set up yuzu emulator on your android devices you don't need to reset up the emulator so that's pretty cool so as i mentioned before this is an all-in-one emulator so you can just use one single app and as i mentioned before make sure to turn off your internet connection before trying this app out let's just go ahead and close yuzu emulator android and if we just take a look at it then you will see it's running from ps3 emu application I don't know why it's called as PS3 Mu. In its uh, description, it says that it will also support PlayStation 3 emulation pretty soon. But anyways, uh, every time you open this emulator, it will rescan your directory. This time we'll be trying out some 3DS games. I really hope they should come up with an unique name. But there we go. Pokemon Omega Ruby, Pokemon Ultra Sun and Pokemon X were the games which I kept on my Android device. And they are being shown properly right here. Uh, so wait for the pending operations to complete so after it's completed scanning then only you can enter this game for example this is pokemon ultra sun and for some reason it is giving me and liberto core was not loaded issue enable internet connection okay now that we have rescanned uh, emulation screen orientation is set to use device settings now let's just go ahead and try out pokemon ultra sun and there we go the game has successfully loaded and i'm able to see some decent graphics quality let me just go ahead and uh, try in landscape for some reason in landscape it's just looking very small so we'll go with portrait now where are the on-screen touch controls i wonder so let's scroll down virtual controller where hidden so i have unhidden the controllers and there we go guys uh, we have the 3ds controls let's just go ahead and choose the language and if we just go ahead and hold this settings icon we get to fast forward our game that's pretty cool i guess and uh, from the gameplay results which i'm seeing right here i think lemuroid emulator is being used with some customized control options so for those of you guys who like to uh, use lemuroid emulator you should be happy with this accurate shader multiplication let's turn this on it can go all the way up to 10x resolution let's try 8x resolution and yeah my game is lagging guys 8x resolution even one plus 11 cannot but there we go guys that's the new all-in-one emulator from play store let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think about it thanks for watching i'll see you guys next time peace out